Hello traders, this video has actually taken me all day, um, but what I'm going to show you guys today is uh, a free strategy that I've prepared that I've used recently and it's worked pretty well for me. It's a more complex method of uh, really a combination between dollar cost averaging and earning premium. Uh, if this video is a little too advanced, you might want to just leave. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if any part of this doesn't make sense, but you understand the overall concept, then you can just private message me and I can um, I can probably help from there. But without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first thing that uh, I want to talk about is this is the HXRO platform. I've talked about it before in previous videos. The, the contracts we're going to be focusing on is just the top left right here uh, called Tix Options. This is pretty simple. All this is basically saying is by a certain date here, it's April 30, which expires in six hours at the time of this filming. Um, you know, what odds can we get for price closing above 39K? You know, uh, what odds can we get for it closing uh, below? You know, closing below, yes. Um, closing below, no means it's closing above, of course. And here are the odds, you know, and the implied market probability. All good, right? So what this strategy does is it mixes spot trading with HXRO ticks contracts. So here's a quick example of what that looks like. Imagine that you own two Bitcoin and you sell one Bitcoin at 38,500 and then place a sell order of one BTC at 39,100 and a buy order of one BTC at 37,900. So you might be saying, well, how can you do that in a spot account? Well, if you have two BTC and you sell one, then you are currently long, uh, you own one BTC. And then you also have $38,500 from when you sold BTC. Um, not including fees, of course. So then you can place a seller of one BTC because you already own one, P one BTC, of course. And then you can also place a buy order at 37,900 and you have $600 extra because that's the difference between your sell price and where your buy order sits. Okay, so what we can do with this $600, this is where it gets very, very interesting. So imagine that with these $600, we put $300 on a contract that expires in 24 hours that bets on price expiring above 38,000 at odds of 1.6x. So what that would look like is something like this. Imagine that this contract was a daily contract, meaning it expires in 24 hours, and I bet on the market closing um, above 38,000. I would hit no to close below. I loaded up a few dollars just to kind of show how this works. Um, I would, I would, you know, know, and then you'd get those odds. That's that's how it works. So imagine that you spend 300 on that of the 600 generated from the difference here, of course, uh, at these odds, and then you spend 300. Um, the price will expire below 39,000 at odds of 1.6x. So before we dive into really what this means and what this can do, uh, let's go into a visual. So I just constructed this, but this is the exact same thing I was just talking about, but just in a visual form. What's going on here? Well, we have uh, half of our portfolio, or one BTC in this uh, example, of uh, one BTC being sold at uh, the price of 39,100, and you can see that in the red dashed line. Additionally, we have a buy of one BTC at 37,900, and you can see that in the green dashed line. In between the two white lines are the HXRO contracts. If price expires, uh, in 24 hours, meaning it closes in 24 hours in between the two white lines, then both HXRO contracts will pay out. You would earn the 1.6x from both of those contracts. So here are just a few outcomes of, of really what that looks like. So imagine that your bid gets filled. Um, you have a bid at 37,900, kind of like what, what we had talked about before. And imagine that gets filled. You would now own two BTC, which is the exact same amount of BTC that you owned before. So really nothing's changed with how much BTC you own, but the BTC of course will be worth less because the price is lower. You would also lose $300 from the 38,000 contract as price expires below 38,000. So basically what this means is that you would be long two BTC, um, but then you would also get 480 USD from your HXRO account. So if that seems confusing, let me back up and just explain what's going on. So remember that you put $300 on betting that the price will expire above 38,000 and another $300 on betting that the price will expire um, below 39,000, okay? So if price expires below 38,000, then the $39,000 contract pays out um, 180 USD because that's 1.6 times 
um, 300 and then you would lose the $300 from the 38,000 contract. Uh, basically, simply, you would be left with 480 USD in your HXRO account, and you'll be long to BTC. So that would be if price was like, let's say at 37,500, just tore much lower. Now, let's say that your offer instead was filled. If your offer is filled, um, you would now have 77,600 uh, USD in your spot account for the two BTC that you've sold and you would lose $300 from the 39,000 contract as price expires above that price. And you'd also again gain 180 USD from the HXRO contract at 38,000, which leaves you with 480 USD in your HXRO account. Pretty similar. This kind of example would be if price tore, um, if price just tore much, much higher. If price was like, let's say at like 40,000, you would have sold unfortunately at 39,100, you would get a payout from price closing above 38,000 and you would lose because price is closing above 39,000, of course. Okay, now let's talk about the ideal scenario, which is if price expires between 38,000 and 39,000 and neither, well, this isn't as ideal, but if neither of your orders fill, well, in, that, in this case, you would actually earn 180 USD from each. Uh, where this number comes from again is 1.6X, which is the original odds that we had here on three and four. 1.6x times 300, uh, and that happening twice. So that would be uh, a total, by my math, and I'm like, check my math, a total of 960 USD in your HXRO account. So that would be a pretty good uh, thing because then really what will end up happening is you would still have one BTC long, and you would also have uh, you know, the money that you got from the 37,900 from when, when you had sold BTC, and then you'd also have another 960 USD. So what, what does this look like? Uh, well, let's talk about the good part, okay? So if both contracts uh, expire actually in profit, then the 360 USD excess profit, which would come from price expiring between 38,000 and between 39,000, is about a 0.47% um, profit on the starting capital of 77,000, or two BTC in this example. If your bid fills and both contracts expire in profits, so that's if the, the market tanks, um, hits your bid at 37,900, so hits your bid right down there and then expires in between the two white lines. If that happens, then you would be long 2BTC, of course, uh, but you would have also have gained 960 USD because um, price expired in between the two white lines, which would be a 1.25% profit. It's the same thing below. Uh, if your offer fills, that's if price uh, rises above 39,100, then goes right back down and expires in between the two white lines, then you would have $77,600 in your spot account, but you would have also gained 960 USD uh, because price expired um, in between the two white lines, which would be a 1.25% profit. Now for the golden scenario, which rarely happens, but if it does, you're very, very fortunate. Um, if both of your bid and offer orders fill and also uh, price expires between the two strike prices, between 38,000 and 39,000 expiring in profit, you would have one BTC and 39,100 USD in your spot account, but you would also have gained 960 USD, which is the 1.25% um, profit. And your overall USD increase would be $1,560. So you'd make about a 2% profit. So these are all the, the outcomes that can happen on the good side. So a, a lot of these are pretty good increases for running the strategy just for one day, just for a 24 hour setup. You know, these percents are, are pretty good. Now let's talk about the bad part because um, with every good part of a strategy, it's contrasted by the bad, you know, yin and yang, of course. <laughs> So recall what happens in this kind of scenario. If your bid gets filled and you own two BTC, um, imagine that in this case, you know the price absolutely tanks. Uh, what ends up happening? Well, there is a good chance that BTC could trend lower, and then you would just be left solely with the same amount of Bitcoin you had earlier. Um, so you really only want to run this strategy if you really believe that BTC would eventually rise, or you don't mind if BTC trends lower with you in a position. The entire point of this strategy 
is if price goes lower, you still have the same amount of BTC that you started with. You might say, wait, Bennett, how is that possible? Well, it's possible because I'll show you guys. If you have two BTC long at the price of 38,500 and then sell uh, and then sell one BTC, you'll have $38,500 uh, neglecting fees. And if you then put a bid order at 37,900, you will then have an excess $600 um, that is left in your account, of course. And that's where the extra 600 comes in that you can send over to HXRO to then enter into some plays, of course. Okay. Additionally, there's also a chance that BTC could trend upward without you, and then you would have sold um, both of your BTC. You'd have sold one of them at 38,500 at the beginning of this example, and then the other one at 39,100, and you would be left solely with USD, um, of course. So you really only want to run the strategy if you, in that case, believe that BTC would fall back down lower eventually, or you don't mind if BTC trends upward without you in a position. Overall, I do think that the good of the strategy definitely outweighs the bad, um, but that is just me. This is definitely a more complex DCA strategy uh, with premium that uh, does allow you to earn premium without the risk of uh, shorting options. Shorting options can lead to you being liquidated, which can make uh, for some unfortunate scenarios in hedging, because if you don't properly hedge, you could have your entire account gone. Um, when you do choose to short options. Uh, additionally, BTC does not have to be directly in between the two strike prices for you to initiate this play. Uh, the example I was going over today is if BTC was trading at 38,500, you know, which it was, and then we bet for the market to stay above 38,000 and below 39,000 and hedging it with um, buy and sell orders right outside that range, of course. Uh, you could still do this if BTC isn't at a midpoint in between two strike prices, though. Um, and, and you can see that in the little dash section that I put right there. Um, additionally, you can place your bids and offers wherever you would like. I know in this example, what I basically did is I put my offer $100 higher than the um, upper strike, and I put my bid uh, $100 lower than the uh, lower strike. You can do this however you want, but you really don't want them to get too far away from each other because if your bid is too far away from the lower strike, there is something kind of nasty which could happen, which would be if price expires below the lower strike, but then also doesn't touch your bid. Um, that would be quite unfortunate, but you know, not the end of the world, but it would be unfortunate for sure. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, finally, fees for HXRO are 1% per transaction. No, again, that is not 1% on profit. So like the 1%, the 2% profit that I'm talking about, this does not factor in. What this factors into is if you purchase odds of let's say 1.35x, you're actually gonna be getting 1.34x, okay? So with the current price here, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a quick example of what that um, looks like. There's only a little under six hours left on this contract. So really the payout's gonna be pretty terrible of close below 39,000, but I'm gonna take this just to show you guys what it looks like. So imagine that I was betting on this and this is not a great payout. It's a payout of only 16%, but I'll, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, so I purchased yes, and you see order completed and then it will be you know over here in my positions. So I'm betting that the market closes below 39,000 know, know, in six hours. That's basically how you can um, do this strategy. So what I would do in this in this in this way, if uh, you know there's a lot more time on this contract, I would buy close below thirty nine thousand, close above thirty eight thousand. I would then put my bids just a little bit below thirty eight, and my offers a little bit above thirty nine, and then that way I could uh, you know earn a fair amount of premium while hoping that the market doesn't do much or that the market stays just in between the strike prices. So yeah, like I had said before, this is something that is not for the faint of heart. If you aren't fully, you know, if you don't fully understand all parts of HXRO and of this kind of uh, strategy, then I wouldn't recommend you do it. Uh, of course, you only wanna do something that you understand because if you don't understand this, then you probably aren't gonna be safe doing it because you won't know the ins and outs of really, you know, like how to, how to handle it. Now, of course, the more volatile Bitcoin is, the higher the payouts will likely be. Um, that is something that for sure you should um, look into. 
but also do play around a little bit with HXRO to get familiar with the platform. I think that that will definitely um, help a lot. But to recap basically what the strategy is, is it's a combination of two different things. It's a combination of DCA, where we just put buy orders lower and sell orders higher and just you know wait for time to, to fill both those orders. And a combination of that with earning premium. Earning premium is when uh, as time passes, you make money from contracts, whether it's uh, you know options or contracts like HXRO TIX contracts. Now, the basic way that this is hedged is that if BTC absolutely tanks, again, you would have the same amount of Bitcoin that you had before. If you were long to BTC, if you do this strategy correctly, you'll still be long to BTC. And you would also have um, around the same USD as before if BTC, if Bitcoin just rips upward, of course. Um, well, you would actually have a little bit more USD because you'd be, uh, yeah, you would have actually a little bit more USD because of the orders. So this is the HXRO um, market making DCA. You can call it what you want, but if you guys have any more questions on how you can earn premium this way by, uh, by being hedged, then you can private message me for more information. Okay, happy trading.